So hi, I'm I'm Jacqueline Nolte, and um, I like to think of myself as um, someone who's dedicated their entire life to art, the purpose and the practice of it. Um, I have an undergraduate degree in majoring in sculpture and in um, film, and I have a PhD in historical studies, uh, focusing in on art history. So my specialization as an art historian is Russian modernism and um, early realism, and also contemporary production, primarily African. I think of a fine arts show from the perspective of the artist and also the perspective of the audience. And so for the artist, I think that it's um, really an opportunity uh, to present your work in a way that really correlates and matches with, with your vision. So for me, that clarity of intention and that opportunity to um, communicate your intention is, is paramount. Um, I think that it's a summation of everything that you know. And so it's a great way in which to test your intention with an audience. But you know, the audience also has their own frameworks of interpretation. So this doesn't mean that there is one way in which to receive a work. Of course, the audience could receive your work in many, many different ways. But for the, for the juror, I think, the curator, what's really important is being able to pull the work together in some kind of coherent way um, to look at links between the works and so forth. Now, this isn't a curated show, it's a juried show, but still, when, when somebody views the work, walks into the space, virtual or, or real, I think that it needs to be a transformative experience for them. And the work that you submit and the works as a whole need to really hold people's attention uh, because it's in the looking and in the seeing that that journey happens. So just to kind of elaborate a little bit on that, what do you feel is your responsibility as a juror for a show like this? Primarily, I think jurors need to be transparent in their criteria. And so the criteria can be explained and they are explained on the website. And then the work needs to be selected in accordance with, with the criterion. But what I really want to acknowledge is that jurors can get it wrong. They can get it wrong um, in a, in a major way, and they have done historically. So while I'm here trying to promote the importance of, of juried work, I'm also here to say that if your work is not accepted, you know, please, it's paramount to not give up because we all learn in the process. We learn in the process of making, we learn in the process of selecting, um, and we learn in the process of you know, getting up and, and testing your intentions again in, in a different way. Are there things that artists should think about when they're preparing to submit their artwork? When people are submitting 3D work, first of all, the obvious thing is please ensure that you're documenting that work from a range of, um, from a range of views, as well as your description of the work. I think the artist's statement is, is really important um, because that gives the juror and the viewer something to enter into. To, to assess whether that communication is happening or not. Um, so the artist's point of view obviously is paramount. At the same time, you know, I recognize that not every work can be unique. You're producing work in a very complicated historical and contemporary set of circumstances. But the way in which you situate yourself within those circumstances, the way in which you understand work around you that you look at and you draw from those influences together your own particular point of view is what's so exciting and you know that ultimate kind of um, particular way in which you pull those pieces together and add to the conversation is what I think makes for a really great artist. Do you have um, specific things that you love about 3D work? Yeah I mean three-dimensional work of course has moved through so many different um, phases historically, culturally, and so forth. But ultimately, it's the way in which I think the human body is situated in relation to the 3D piece one's making that is so interesting. So what happens in that relationship? What happens in that spatial interaction between your own body and the three-dimensional piece that, you, that you're sculpting? Um, what is the interact, interactive space between your own body and that space that you 
you're manipulating. And texture is extremely important as well. It's not just the three-dimensional manipulation of space, but the actual material that you're using, the properties of the material, um, whether you contributing to them, whether you're stretching them, whether you're undoing them, you know, whatever you're doing to them, it's that that visceral textural relationship between your body and that um, that medium that has its own breath and its own language. And is there is there anything that artists, whether they're emerging artists, this is their first time submitting to a fine art show, or maybe they're experienced artists who have submitted to many fine art shows, is there any any advice you might give to somebody who's just starting out at, versus somebody who has done this many many times? I think that confidence is something that grows, um, but at the same time, it's something that can be eroded. So I would say what's most important is you hang on to your passion, your belief in your voice and the joy that you experience as you're producing a work. So um, always return to, to the authenticity of who you are and what it gives you. So as much as I've said, there's this deep history, there's this complicated conversation of other artworks. Ultimately, you have to draw on your own passion and nurture your own confidence to keep speaking because it's a language and it's your voice. What do you hope artists will walk away from this experience, from this experience of being a part of a fine art show, but also the experience of submitting your work digitally for a show like this? I think understanding um, the journey you've been on being able to reflect on that journey is part of what um, results from submitting a work. You know, it takes, takes a lot of courage to put your work into the public sphere. Um, and as you're putting it together, as you're documenting it, as you're writing about it, as you're submitting it, um, I think what you're doing is you're reflecting on your journey. And um, I hope that that understanding is what's enriched and that clarity of understanding about the purpose of your work is what is enriched for you as you submit your work. And, you know, they're professional skills that you pick up each time you submit. And, that's, and, and really, most importantly, and I want to say this again, if your work is not considered right for this show, please don't be discouraged. It's really not about the, the whole practice of art. It's not about rule making and successfully subscribing to somebody else's expectations, or somebody else's norms. Um, and these professional standards shift according to different people involved in, in the practice of, of looking at art. Um, so I would say I just hope that you refine your, your understanding, develop your confidence, um, and keep passionate.